Oh yeah, so this is a really quick tutorial for anyone that's having issues with the new H2 uh, build for, for Windows 11. Uh, so, it seems to be when you hit the desktop, you're getting a pop-up that says that um, there's a driver compatibility issue. Um, and the one that's flagging it for me is ene.sys. There are a couple of ways to fix this. I'm going to show you the way I fix mine, and then we'll get into one that should work for you. But one of these two situations will work for you. So... Let's jump straight into it. So first of all, we're going to head into our file explorer down here, and then just want to hit this PC. Now, whatever drives you have, doesn't matter if you've got two like me, three or four. It's wherever your Windows is loaded, so it needs to be your. For most of us, it'll be local drive C. So we're going to click into local drive C, and down here, we're going to go into Windows, Windows. And now in Windows, we're going down and we're looking for System32. So, System32 here. Now in here, we need to search this through. So it's ene.sys is the issue we're, look we're looking for. Give it a minute to find it. There you go. This is the one at Norway it says modified. It was today I had to... So all I've done is, this is a, uh, that's having the issue, it's a system file. Um, all I've done is you need to rename it, um, and all I've done is put EY, EY, it needs to say E and E dot S Y S. All I've done is put another S on the end of it, um, and that seems to have fixed my issue. And that's one way to do it. The second one that we can do is we're going to go back and start, and we're going to type in core isolation, and we're going to open it. If that doesn't work for you, what you can do is go to uh, this one here, which is a Microsoft a Vulnerable Driver Blacklist. Just toggle it off. It's going to come up with that and ask you if you want to show. If that one doesn't work, you can toggle both these off. I don't recommend turning them off, but that is the way to get rid of the issue. But before you do any of these steps, the most thing I must stress to everyone is that you must go into your settings, first of all, um, and if you don't go in the settings, then you know you have the issues. You need to go in the settings first of all, most importantly. And inside settings, you want to go to Windows Update. And now, make see if you've got any normal updates to do. Um, and sound top of your updates. And then, uh, if it comes up, there's no issues, uh, no updates here. Any ones that are thing, you know, most people will do them, but they forget the optional ones. So we need to go into Advanced Options. And in advanced options, you need to get rid of optional updates. I've got none, but there are your optional. It's important into the optional updates because they're as important as much as any other ones are to do those updates. Those those are the steps that work. Leave me a comment down below if it has worked for you. I'm interested to see if it's just me effect or whether this is a widespread issue. But yeah, let me know. Hopefully, Microsoft will release a fix. I would think with Christmas right around the corner it will come out much before christmas day otherwise people are going to be returning their pcs when they hit 11 an issue with windows 11 so i would think microsoft will push in a, a patch a fix update um very soon but until then um even by this video that might already be out but um yeah uh let me know if it's worked for you leave a comment down below hopefully this video will help a few people out and um yeah i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial cheers